Hey gang, Private Jack here. Uh, this particular video is to help people who are watching my videos and I'm referring them to GCFs. Uh, since Valve went to Pipeline and Steam started delivering the content uh, via the Pipeline, <clears throat> a lot of the games have been converted <clears throat> to the new format. So most of my videos prior to about July time frame uh, refer you to GCF files for extracting a assets. Well, now that pipelines taken place, those GCFs have been uh, removed from the system. Quick example is uh, if you look at my stuff here, you'll see that I have a lot of the old GCF files here. Uh, sometime in July, um, Team Fortress 2 uh, converted and I still have a Team Fortress 2 GCF. Reason being is I'm a pack rat and I keep things uh, and have thrown them back in here for quick uh, and easier access. Anyway, make long story short, if you're watching one of my uh, videos and you come into your Steam apps and you cannot find a GCF file for that particular game, what you need to do is you need to go to the common directory. So C, program files, x86 for a 64-bit guy, Steam, Steam apps, common, and have a look for that particular game. I'm going to choose Half-Life 2 uh, as an example. And I open that up. And what I'm going to find in here is reference to Half-Life. If I open that up, I'm going to find VPK files. And this is the Half-Life 2 um, models and assets. Okay. Uh, if I come back into the Half-Life 2 folder, I'm going to find Episode 2. If I go in there, I'm going to find VPK files. And these contain what the old GCFs used to. And the way that you access these is you have to have a copy of... Um, NIMS tools, I think it is. Uh, no, is it NIMS tools? Well, let's find out. Oh, GCF scape. One point three. Uh, One point eight point four. Be 1.8.4. Yeah, NIMS tools. You need a copy of NIMS tools and the actual version that will open these VPK files and be able to extract them is GCFscape version 1.8.4. Anyway, as you can see, I've got mine associated to the VPK file and like I say, these are the models, the uh, assets to those particular uh, 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 files. Now the VPK files are broken down into a variety of different uh, aspects. This one it looks like uh, if I go into the materials files and open up one of these uh, contains both the VTM or VMTs and the VTFs. Uh, if you go into Half-Life 2, however, and I'm going to open up the MIS, I come into the materials. I'm going to find that these are just VMT files. So what they've done is they've taken and broken materials down into two different uh, archives. Uh, the VMT files are located in the uh, MIS DIR um, VPK, and the actual textures are located in the Textures DIR VPK. And if I open this up and open here, I'll find all the VTFs. Okay. So anyway, make a long story short. If you're watching one of my vi uh, videos and I refer you to a, a GCF file and you cannot find that GCF file in uh, the uh, Steam Apps folder. Go to the common uh, folder. Look for that particular game. 
Now there should be a folder for that particular game, Portal 2, um, Team Fortress 2, uh, yeah, anyway. And you'll find that in those folders, Alien Swarm is another example. If I go into Swarm, I'm going to find the uh, VPK file. And the one that you want to open is one that starts with uh, underscore DIR. If there are multiple VPK files in here, you will find that uh, the name of the VPK underscore DIR is the main particular um, VPK file for that particular uh, program. The other thing is, is uh, maps. Maps are now located in the maps folder. You actually have to extract or copy the maps into uh, things like uh, Source Filmmaker from the maps folder. They're not in the uh, archives anymore. Example, TF2. Uh, if I come in here, TF2, here's my VPK folders. There's uh, TF2 Mist. There's TF2 Sound. Uh, there's TF2 Textures. Uh, there's VF, uh, T, uh, TF2 uh, Sound Voiceovers. And like I say, the underscore DIR is the main one that you want to open in order to access the file. Uh, the maps are located in the maps directory now, and they are all there. Okay, so all you have to do is copy them into your particular place that you're keeping your maps in Source Filmmaker. So with that, uh, that's a quick lowdown on where the GCF files are. And with that, I say Private Jack out.